buddy. I'm back. Batter up, ready for our next day of baseball week. But before we get started, a little song to get us in the mood. enough of that but anyway we are going to go ahead and get ready for our next activity today but one of the things that maybe you noticed within that and actually this week is uh there is a lot of females that have been lacking uh we haven't talked a lot about women's roles in uh baseball and actually they played kind of a significant one and today you're going to be reading and learning about the bells of the ball game and bells in this case mean the women of the ball game uh some of you may be a little bit familiar if you have some background knowledge on this but um actually during world war ii women uh, started a baseball league in order for uh, to pick up where baseball left off when most of the men had been drafted to go to war. They closed down professional baseball, but women it took uh, took it up and decided there's American All American Girls base, Professional Baseball League. And so today we're going to be reading about the bells of the ball game. Uh, you're going to be using some active reading strategies, answering some questions, and doing a little research as we end this week. And tomorrow, if you're good, uh, you'll have an opportunity to watch one of probably the most famous movies about uh, the well, actually about baseball. Period. Um, it's a really great one, but it has to do with this particular article, and I think it's one that you'll all enjoy. If you haven't seen a league of their own, uh, that's what we'll have an opportunity to watch uh, the rest of the week. So, but today we are going to be getting some background and looking at the bells of the ball game. I'm going to go ahead and have you watch a little bit of this background, and then we'll listen to the text before. It will be your job to go through and answer some questions. Today's going to be a little bit more independent. Uh, I can only entertain you so much. But today you're going to finish this up, finish up whatever you haven't finished the rest of the week uh, so that you can get ready for an easy Friday, and then you'll finish the video up on Monday. But here we go. Bells of the ball game. America, 1943. The country is at war. Fathers and their sons are drafted to fight. America's national pastime is put on hold. Baseball fields are vacant. Until one team owner has a solution. Women have already filled in at factories and offices. Why not on the baseball field too? The All-American Girls Professional Baseball League is born. 300 women try out. 60 are selected. Home runs and history follow. How do their efforts change sports and blaze a trail? Find out. Read the bells of the ball game. So that's what we're going to be looking at. It is just kind of interesting to think about how the world changed after World War II, and I'm sure Mr. Maxwell will bore you with more details about that uh, later on. So we're going to go ahead and listen to this text. You're also going to see it in your Google Doc where your assignment is today. Um, but we're going to go ahead and listen <coughs> if you'd like. Otherwise, quite honestly, you don't need to listen anymore. Your job will be just going to your doc um, and you're going to go ahead and answer the questions. Uh, there's some summarizing. There's picking out some significant details. There's a video um, interviewing some of the women who actually took part. And then you're going to go ahead and do a little trivia uh 
you know, go find some information on the internet uh, activity that hopefully you'll find that's kind of entertaining um, as well, including a little competition between softball and baseball, because as you know, uh, women typically play softball now and men stick to baseball. And so there's always that kind of battle of which is better. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead and listen to this uh, just if you would like. Again, if you don't want to, you're just going to go ahead and finish the document. And remember to go back and finish any information that you may have missed this week, including um, the impossibility of hitting the fastball or um, Casey at the bat. So finally follow along with your eyeballs on your document as we go ahead and listen to this particular text. It is not found in your study sync book, so that's why we're going to be listening to it here instead. The year was 1942. World War II continued, and the war effort changed every aspect of life in the United States. Men were called away to fight. Women took jobs in factories. Supplies were scarce, and spirits were low. No one knew how or when the war would end. Americans looked for an enjoyable activity to distract them during this difficult time. Going to see a baseball game was fun, affordable, and local. It was an ideal pastime. Yet the war effort had thrown a curveball. With so many young men overseas, many minor league baseball teams had to call a timeout. Fearing the same outcome for major league baseball, Philip K. Wrigley, then owner of the Chicago Cubs, had an idea straight out of left field. Women had proved themselves to be reliable pinch hitters in the workplace. Could women also be the solution to baseball's problems? So I'm going to stop here because one thing that I've noticed, and I know I'm kind of reading the text for the first time and understanding it, but it is about girls baseball. But I think it's interesting that the author is talking about baseball, but also using a lot of figurative language that is baseball um, to help further his point. And this is actually one of the questions in the text that you're supposed to be answering. But hopefully you can see the idea that the war effort had thrown a curveball, which means had they had to make some changes. So thrown a curveball in this case, uh, is a baseball analogy or metaphor that they use. And then they also talk about call a timeout. That's something that happens in baseball. Um, he had an idea straight out of left field, which means that it's one that kind of comes out of nowhere a little bit. Pinch hitters. Um, and could they solve? So anyway, all of those terms are kind of technical terms or technical phrases looking back at some of our other uh, skills lessons from this week are all things that have taken place in baseball. So as you read, kind of pay attention to that because you will be going back in your text and highlighting quite a few pieces of language that show uh, how baseball is used as analogy or metaphor throughout. The All-American Girls Professional Baseball League took its first swings in 1943. Ha, ha, ha. Nearly 300 qualified women from all over the country and Canada came to Wrigley Field to try out. Only 60 were selected to form the league's first teams. The Racine Bells, Kenosha Comets, South Bend Blue Sox, and Rockford Peaches had 15 players each. Each team also had a manager, business manager, and female chaperone. The female players' athletic skills were as strong as the men's. They hit home runs and stole bases. They played through bad weather and injuries. But because they were women, they had different requirements than the male players. For example, their uniforms had short skirts. The unofficial motto of the league was, look like women, play like men. In addition to their duties on the field, the female players had to follow a strict code of conduct. They had to take classes on how to walk, speak, dress, and apply makeup properly. Dating was allowed only under the careful watch of the team's chaperone. Despite the extra rules, women were eager to step up to the plate. Salaries were high. Some young players even earned more money than their parents did. The fans were also welcoming. During the 1943 season, a total of 176,612 fans attended a game. The war ended in 1945, 
but attendance hit a peak of 910,000 paying fans in 1948. This achievement proved that women's baseball was more than a wartime distraction. The owners and players alike hit it out of the park. Some players were so talented that they developed their own fan base. Dorothy Dottie Kamenschek was 17 years old when she joined Rockford Peaches in 1943. During her career, she was chosen for seven all-star teams, won the batting title two years in a row, and held the league's record for outs by a fielder. In fact, Kamenschek was so skilled that a men's team tried to recruit her in 1950. Kamenschek chose to stay with the women's league, but an injury forced her retirement in 1951. Unfortunately, attendance fell in the early 1950s. Fans began to stay home to watch men's Major League Baseball games on television. Owners failed to go to bat for their players, and the league finally struck out after its 1954 season. Still, Kamenschek and the other players remain important historic figures. The 1994 film, A League of Their Own, was inspired by Kamenschek and her teammates. Sports Illustrated also named Kamenschek one of the 100 greatest female athletes of all time. All right, so after going through that article, now your job is just going to go ahead and to answer some questions on the doc. Um, you can go ahead, fill in the boxes, and then uh, watch. There's another video that you can watch on your own about the Women's League, and then a few trivia-type questions at the end. So good luck. Batter up. Two more days um, until I return, and like I said, tomorrow really will be. There won't be any good like baseball puns. I know you're going to be devastated. I'll see if I can find some for the sub plans. Anyway, um, you're going to watch the movie and answer some questions as you watch the movie just to make sure that you're paying attention and hopefully being good. However, if you aren't good, I also will have a backup activity just in case we feel like watching the movie isn't what we're going to be best at. Um, there's also, I have two more articles, one for each day that still focus on baseball, but maybe you just want to watch my videos instead, uh, just in case. So please continue to be good. Make sure that you can handle that movie. Um, and do your best. And I look forward to seeing you in just a couple more days. Uh, be good, make good choices. Uh, yeah, I'm almost out of like all of these baseball things. And quite honestly, this article took care of a lot of baseball puns. So uh, please email, ask the sub if you need anything, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.